Hi friends, welcome to English Study Point. Today in this video lecture, I am going to discuss important works of Michael Odanji along with his biography. But I will be making another video lecture in which I will be discussing some another major important works published by Michael Odanji during his lifetime. So now I am starting this video lecture. Michael Odanji's full name is Philip Michael Odanji. He was a Sri Lankan-born Canadian poet, fiction writer, essayist, novelist, editor, and filmmaker. Michael Odanji taught English literature at York University and also he taught at Glendon College which is situated in Toronto. He co-edited a journal called Brick along with his wife and several other novelists as well as academicians who are named as Michael Redhill. Michael Helm and Esther Spaulding. When he used to write his books, he used to write in so many genres. So he is best known as a novelist, but he used to write works in other genres also, which includes memoir, poetry, film, etc. In the year 1992, he received Men Booker Prize for his work, The English Patient. This work was also adapted into an award-winning film. Now, let's discuss about some of his important works. First work is Dainty Monsters, which came in the year or published in the year 1961. By publishing this work, he began his writing career in an actual sense. This work is actually a poetry collection and in this work he talks about uh, domes everyday domestic life and also in the same work he at the same time talks about mythology. So we can see that there is a kind of mingling of mythology as well as uh, description of everyday domestic life. All these things are intermingled in this poetry collection. So in this work there is a unique blend of primitive as well as domestic imagery. Now another work is titled as the collected works of Billy the Kid which was published in the year 1970 and subtitle of this work is Left Handed Poems. In uh, this work is more like a verse novel and in this book there is series of poems which are written not in the chronological order so order of poems is not in a chronological sequence they are somewhat they appears as if these poems are not ordered or not structured properly and all poems which are there in this collected box of billy the kid these poems talks about a man whose name is billy the kid his actual name is william bonnie and uh, in this series, poem series, he talks about events that happened in the life of William Bonney and his conflict with Sheriff Pat Garrett. This work, which is titled as Coming Through Slaughter, this work is marked as his first novel or a debut work which pu was published in the year 1976. This novel led to transaction of Michael Odanji because by publishing this a work, he transformed himself from a poet to a prose writer. In this work, he talks about life of jazz musician whose name is Buddy Paulden. So this book talks about life of a pioneer of New Orleans jazz whose name is Buddy Bolden. So this man, he pioneered or founded a jazz music which is called as New Orleans. And also this book covers last month of Bolden's sanity because he is almost on the verge of becoming insane. He has started writing music which is radical, revolutionary in nature. So when he is revolting against society, so that automatically turns him insane. He is um, gradually losing his sanity because this world made him insane. So he is uh, writing in his music uh, things which are radical as well as revolutionary in nature. And uh, due to uh, writing these things, he is driving himself more towards insanity. 
and also there is a second character which is present there in this novel who is uh, named as ej belock he is a photographer so his pro profession is of photographer uh, this man ej belock expresses his frustration by clicking intimate erotic photographs he destroys the same by scratching all the photographs so we can see that both these characters who are presented in this novel they are described as failed artists as well as depressed in life next work that i'm going to discuss here is running in the family which was published in the year 1982 this work is actually a memoir memoir is a type of writing in which a person describes his own life memories michael odanji by showcasing lots of photograph in this work he actually wants to showcase to his readers about life of his parents own parents as well as grandparents in colonial sri lanka he also talks about his return to sri lanka in late 1970s and also showcase his familial ties in this memoir so by showcasing all these things he he is attempting to understand his own identity in a better manner and uh, now i am talking about themes which are present in this work so there is presence of constant loneliness there is a total despair in his life which he expressed through loneliness which is surrounded in this whole text and also society in which michael odanji is living uh, in expects a lot from him and he failed to match their expectations so uh, and also there is presence of complex kind of memories which is coming to him uh, which he showcase through this text so there is complexity of memory and also there is use of multiple and striking narrative in this work now here i am discussing last a uh, work of today's video lecture and that work is in the skin of a lion which was published in the year 1987 title of this work taken from epic of gilgamesh in this work he talks about how immigrants started playing a large role in building the city of toronto and also we see that he in this work tries to showcase clashes between rich as well as poor people that is increasing a kind of huge wide gap between these people means uh, rich as well as poor people he in this novel also emphasizes importance of immigrants who mature canada as a city into a dif totally different manner when these immigrants came they take culture language along with them he in this work uh, illuminates investment of settlers in canada through labor while they remain while still they remain outsiders to this mainstream society and in the skin of a lion he exposes condition of immigrants it is a novel about wearing and removing mask shedding of skin transformations and translations of identity and this the english patient which was published in the year 1992 is considered to be sequel to in the skin of a lion this work i am discussing in another video lecture now with this this video lecture ends here hope this video lecture will help you in your ugc net english literature exams thank you